If there is a new world order, there must also be an old world order, which is very important to understand the new world order. The old world order was the feudal aristocratic system of kings, queens, dukes, counts and earls, whose property we were. They took our women in the prime noctus or first rite on the first wedding night and forced our women to sleep with the Lord to spread their pharaonic genetics. They owned all the land, all the cattle and had all the power being enforced by their knights who are now the police and the blue octagon army. So you think they just left it all and just vanished? No. It was this old world order which became the new world order because the aristocracy were having too many internal wars where all of them wanted to be king or lord of the castle and there were more and more of them. So it was decided that any one of them could be the king for a period of four years elected by their slaves, the demos in Greek. And so democracy was born. And because there were too many uprisings and revolutions going on, they decided to become invisible and hide in secret Freemason lodges, being the reason that Freemasons are still attracted to swords, castles, ancient rituals and pharaonic symbols. Especially communism and the Russian Revolution became a real threat to them, killing all the royals and tsars. This is why in fact a counterpart had to be invented to defeat the threat, Nazism. And over these two, they had the Western world and privileged capitalism of their financial elite to finally defeat both communism and Nazism. And now they just smile and say, have a nice day. Next to this, there's also the highly organized Templars of Octagon and their base Switzerland, where all the money is. The Templars were like young, wild, revolutionary aristocrats, rebels-like, who had to fight for their kingdom, as they were only second or third sons, who therefore had no rights, and it was they who finally came up with the idea of democracy and Freemasonry, thus putting the old monarchies and the French king Philippe le Bel in rage, because he didn't want to give up his kingdom to the new system of the new world order, where all these pharaohs could have a chance. So the Templars founded Switzerland, taking their Templars' treasure with them. And today we still belong to them as their slaves, and that is why we have a passport or ID with a number on it, being our registered slave number of the aristocracy, which we have to show every time their police knights of octagon commands us to control the flock. Not even the passport itself belongs to us, but it's the property of the state and aristocracy. Neither our children belong to us, they are the property of the state, whom they can take away from us whenever they please, as being their future flock of slave stock. They can arrest you whenever they want, they can put you in prison whenever they please, this is what I had to find out in Octogon, Switzerland, that we are their property who can steer our lives through terror, lies and injustice. Look, there's even the coat of arms on it of the ones whose property you are. The king. The pharaoh. Well, there he is, King George VI and the Freemason, as I told you, who uh, set Mr. Winston Churchill, the uh, aristocratic warmonger and mass murderer who started World War II. He set him in place. He was not elected by the people. And every American president has one British king as their ancestor. So the pharaohs became the aristocracy. And the aristocracy became Freemasonry, ruling through the system of democratorship where we, the sheeple, can vote for one of them out of a bunch of other pharaohs. It says in the Bible that the pharaoh and his army disappeared in the sea. They disappeared in the sea of peoples and are amongst us. Ah, in pharaonic means pregnant and ri means a son, as in the word aristocracy, aristocracy. 
meaning the sun gave birth to them. They came from elsewhere. This is why the aristoc aristocratic led Nazis came up with the word er 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 as in aristocratic, aristocratic. And look, here we can see it. This is the, uh, the King of England. There he is, a Freemason. They all are. That's how they control us today. Nice, isn't it? We are just as slaves as we've always been. Now they're hiding. <laughs>